Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm from EvoTech Pacific. In today's video, we're going to look at one of our latest options for bench jewelers, whether you're a setter, whether you're an engraver, or whether you're just someone who wants to have a closer look at the pieces that you create. It's the Silverback Camera Microscope Kit. This video is going to show you what's included in the kit and also how to set it up. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about what's included in the Silverback Camera Microscope Kit. Uh, you can see that we have uh, an arrangement of uh, cords. We have a HDMI cable, we have a uh, USB cable. We also have a, uh, a controller here for your LED ring light. That controls obviously the on off and how intense the light is. You'll see that we have some um, bolts here that you can use to bolt the actual uh, arm into your bench. We also have a disc, I don't know why it supplies on a disc and not a USB or something like that, but this contains uh, software that enables you to use the camera uh, a little bit more than just, uh, say for example, plugging into a standard monitor, which is an option. If you just wanna plug into a monitor, that's okay too. But if you're wanting to record uh, what you have um, captured or take screenshots, then this guy here is, uh, is probably gonna be a pretty good friend. You have a spanner, a range of Allen keys. We also have a couple of collets here. These collets uh, are used, these aren't uh, actual lenses, but they're collets that hold this particular lens in. I'll show you what that does shortly. We also have a uh, the LED ring light here, which is controlled by uh, that guy there. We have a couple of magnify uh, or magnified um, eyepieces here, which fit into uh, those uh, those uh, binocular pieces there. And also we have the 21 megapixel microscope camera. Uh, as you can see, it uh, is 21 megapixel. Uh, when it comes to a snapshot. Uh, when you're using uh, the video footage, it will capture video at 2K, 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is pretty cool. Um, so we also have a remote control and this lens here goes onto the bottom of the microscope. And also let's take a look at the arm. Now, as you can see, I've got my arm just clamped down with a couple of clamps at the moment, but we have this rod here, which holds the uh, the microscope. This here controls the height of the, the microscope. So you can lower it or heighten it, uh, depending, on, uh, depending on your bench configuration. Uh, if you're wanting to uh, move this part of the microscope, then just unscrew uh, these bolts here with the spanner that's included and you can move this up and down as you need to uh, You can also see that it's a spring-loaded um, It's a spring-loaded arm uh, you can control uh, the uh, Where this arm sits by simply moving the arm down to the position that you want it to be at and then you can tighten uh, this up uh, simply by tightening the uh, arms there and the same for this one here. If you wanted to move this outwards, uh, then you would loosen this, move it out to where you need it to, and then tighten it once you've got the, uh, the correct position. We also have this, uh, this arm or this collet here. This is where obviously the microscope sits, and that's what we're going to have a look at at this point in time. Okay, let's talk about assembling the actual microscope itself. The first thing you'll notice is that there are covers on all of the openings of the microscope, including the bottom. So the first thing that we need to do is remove those covers. So we're just gonna unscrew this cover from the camera dioptic here. And these covers here just slot out of the eyepiece dioptics. And down the bottom on the diaphragm, we're going to unscrew this cover here. And we can replace that with this lens here. So we'll just screw that onto the bottom of the diaphragm then. And then we'll get the camera and you'll notice that there's a protective cover on the bottom of the camera. We'll just unscrew that. And then we can screw that to the top camera dioptic there.
to make sure you've got the thread correct and then tighten that up like that. The next thing we'll do is put our two magnifying lenses in. But before we do that, you'll notice that on the dioptics here, there's a little Phillips head screw and you'll need to remove, either remove the screw or loosen it just so the magnifying lens can sit in there nicely. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to push that in. So now that that's in there, grab your screwdriver and just tighten that screwdriver up, or the screw up, I should say. And what that will do is it'll lock into position. It'll still be able to move, but it won't come out because that, uh, that screw is keeping that in there. So do that to the other side as well. Once we've put all the parts of the microscope together, it's time to load it into the, uh, the collet here. So we're going to simply slide that in and you'll notice that the collet here has a, um, a screw knob here that we can unscrew completely. It's probably a good idea to do that first. And then we'll carefully place the diaphragm so that it's sitting nicely into the collet itself and use our uh, screw knob here to tighten that up. So we don't have any movement in the actual microscope piece itself. It'll sit nicely up against the arm here, and then we're ready to move on to the next stage. One of the options for the camera is you don't have to use the camera dioptic if you don't want to. You can also use one of the uh, eyepiece dioptics instead. And to do that is really pretty easy. We can just unscrew the magnifying lens from this dioptic here and just remove it. Unscrew it a little bit more. Take that out. We can unscrew the camera from the camera dioptic. And then what we're going to do is use this particular lens here. We can take the caps off the top and the end, and we can screw the camera to the lens like so. Now you'll notice at the bottom of this lens, you have a little rubber ring and that is to keep these collets attached really nicely. Now this is a 30 mil collet and it sits really nicely. It'll sit really nicely and snug over the, uh, the end of that lens there. And then what you can do is you can place that into the eyepiece dioptic, just like that. So to operate the camera, uh, all we need to do is plug in the appropriate cords into their slots. So your HDMI cable will easily slot into the HDMI slot. You've also got a USB out cable, which will uh, attach to your uh, laptop or your computer. So we can pop that in there and then put the appropriate piece in there and then you have your power cord which obviously slots in there just like that once you switch all of that on then your computer will recognize the the camera and go through the processes of installing the driver uh, included in the silverback camera microscope is the software on a disc um, the Disc is kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, how many people have a, uh, a drive on their computers these days? If you do, that's great. If you don't, then we will provide any of our clients who purchase the Silverback camera microscope with the, the appropriate installation files to install this software. The software is pretty cool. It enables you to capture video and also still shots. Uh, you can uh, adjust things like uh, the contrast and colors, things like that, which uh, could be really handy, particularly if you're using the Silverback 
camera microscope to train uh, people on, or maybe you're going to create video content. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a really good option there for you. Installing the ring uh, LED light is very easy as well. We can just pop that onto the, uh, the bottom lens there and once we have this in its appropriate position we can tighten up those threads and then simply plug the, uh, the cord and the power box into the LED light and you can obviously switch it on and also control the intensity of the light as required. So in a nutshell, that's it. Uh, it's a pretty easy piece of equipment to put together. It's a very handy piece of equipment as well, particularly if you're training people, uh, if you're creating content, or if you just want your customers to be able to see what it is that you're working on at that particular time. It can be uh, you know, a source of entertainment in your, uh, in your retail shop. Um, the important factor though to consider is the placement of your uh, arm itself. Uh, depending on your bench, the height that you like to work at, uh, you need to make sure that you've got enough room between the bottom of the diaphragm here and the ring light uh, and your piece so that you can still work on it, get tools in there, etc. That's going to be pretty important and that's going to be individualized to every different jeweler's bench where you know, we all have different size and shape benches. So uh, bear that in mind. If your bench um, isn't giving you enough room, you may need to adjust the height of the, the microscope on this rod here. You may even need to uh, adjust how and you know the height of where you attach the base of your arm to as well. So all of those factors are going to count and it's gonna be a little bit of uh, trial and error to make sure that you have your microscope in your ideal workspace. One thing I also need to mention is with the software that is included, uh, you get a 134 page PDF. It's very comprehensive. It goes through all of the aspects of the software. That software is really quite handy, particularly if you're going to be training people, uh, if you're creating content, uh, you know, video tutorials and things like that. Uh, that software enables you to be able to capture what it is that the microscope is seeing. Uh, you can also obviously take uh, still shots too. Uh, it could be used in uh, a retail uh, aspect of your store too, so your customers can see what it is that the jeweler or the setter is working on at that particular point in time. So in short, uh, you know, a little bit of entertainment while they're waiting for their watch repair, for example. Um, so I hope this video has helped. If it has, uh, please feel free to subscribe to the Evo Tech Pacific uh, YouTube channel. It really does help us out. Make sure you click on the little bell icon that will notify you of any uploads that we uh, provide uh, to the uh, Evo Tech Pacific uh, YouTube channel. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.